Welcome back to the first grade website. Today's read aloud is another animal fantasy. Do you remember what animal fantasy is? Animal fantasy is a story that's made up that has animals in it that could never happen in true real life. So let's see what we're reading today. The Gruffalo. Take a look at the cover. If you've heard this book before, don't worry. It's a great read, so keep watching all the way through. You'll need to hear the book again, so that way you can do a great job on today's assignment. Today we're going to be looking at this book and thinking about can we hear any blends in this story? And thinking about the different animals in the sequence of the story. What happens and in the order that it happens. So, let's get started reading. <clears throat> this is The Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson and Axel Schelfler. Here we go. A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark woods. A fox saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have in lunch in my underground house. It's terribly kind of you, fox. But, no, I'm going to have lunch with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why didn't you know? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Where are you meeting him? Here by these rocks. And his favorite food is roasted fox. Roasted fox? Oh my, said the fox. Goodbye, little mouse. And away he sped. Silly old fox, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. He tricked the fox. On with the mouse through the deep dark wood. An owl saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Join me for tea in my treetop house. It's frightfully nice of you, owl. But no, I'm going to have tea with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo and a gruffalo? Why didn't you know? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. Where are you meeting him? Here. By this stream, and his favorite food is owl ice cream. Owl ice cream? Twit to woo! Goodbye, little mouse, and away owl flew. Bye, owl. Silly old owl, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. On went the mouse through the woods. A snake saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully good of you, snake. But no, I'm having a feast with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why didn't you know? His eyes are orange, his tongue is black, his purple prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? Here by this lake. And his favorite food is scrambled snake. Scrambled snake? 
It's time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse, and away Snake slid. Silly old snake, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. I wonder what's going to happen next. Who might Mouse see? Oh! But who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart on the end of his nose. His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Oh, help! Oh, no! It's a Gruffalo! The Gruffalo looks pretty scary. My favorite food, the Gruffalo said. You'll taste good on this slice of bread. Good? mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this deep dark wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see. Everyone is afraid of me. Oh sure, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You lead the way and I'll follow after. They walked and walked till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hiss in the grass ahead. Who will they see first? It's a snake, said the mouse. What snake? Hello. Snake took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh dear, he said. Goodbye, little mouse and slid right into his log-piled house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Amazing, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. Who will they see next? It's Owl, said the mouse. Why, hello, Owl. Owl took one look at the Gruffalo. Boo-hoo, he said. Goodbye, little mouse, and flew right up to his treetop house. You see, said Mouse, I told you so. Astounding, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear some paws on the patch ahead. Do you think that the animals are really scared of the mouse? Think about who are they really scared of? Are they scared of the mouse or the Gruffalo? Who does the Gruffalo think the animals are scared of? It's Fox, said the mouse. Why, Fox, hello. Fox took one more look at the Gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little mouse, and ran right into his underground house. The mouse said, Gruffalo, now you see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy is starting to rumble, and my favorite food is Gruffalo Crumble. Look at where's the Gruffalo, Gruffalo going. He's running away. Gruffalo Crumble, the Gruffalo said, and quick as the wind, he turned and fled.
All was quiet in the deep dark wood. The mouse found a nut and the nut was good. The mouse is all alone now. I think that's what he wanted. And here's our deep dark wood, all empty. The end. And there's our Gruffalo. I hope you enjoyed today's read, around, read aloud of the Gruffalo. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And don't forget to do task three right below today's read aloud. Just click the picture of the mouse and you'll get started. Make sure to put your first and your last name. We love you and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.